Alrighty, welcome back to my channel. I'm EG and I have a few updates for you before we get into the main content of the video. First things first, Speaker of Words is just about to come out. I'm very excited. It will be releasing on Thursday, the 17th of October this year, 2019. I am really, really, really excited. It's going to be great. Um, I have so many things planned for this book, including the audiobook, which will be hopefully coming out soon. Uh, honestly, I don't have a schedule planned for that one. We'll see. Uh, it'll probably be next year by the time the audiobook comes up. Be prepared, it is on the way. I am also still running a giveaway until launch day. Uh, if you want to go and have a comment on the book trailer for Speaker of Words, you could win a hardback, paperback, or ebook copy of this book for free. All you have to do is comment on the video, no subscribing, no whatever. Just give it a comment. You don't even have to watch it if you don't want to, but I mean, it's only like a minute and 40 seconds, so I'd appreciate it if you did watch it. Anyways, whatever. Um, go have a look at that. Also, be prepared for launch day. I have some fun activities planned. We'll see how that goes. Otherwise, um... There was something else I was going to mention, but I have forgotten what it was, so we'll just go ahead and get started with today's video. I thought that since I am having Speaker of Words debuting on the 17th, I would go ahead and tell you a little bit about my self-publishing journey. In case you were curious, Speaker of Words is not my first book. It is not a debut novel. Um. It's actually a long story, so we'll go ahead and start from the beginning, way back in high school. Well, end of high school. Let's start there. Um, so I graduated from high school at 16. I was just about a month away from turning 17. Um, I could have easily gone straight to university, but I decided that I should take a year off and figure out where I wanted to go for university, figure out what I wanted to do, what I wanted to study. So I took the year off and um, it was one of the best decisions I have ever made. It was wonderful. I loved it. I would never ever skip that. That was, that was absolutely fantastic. Um, I did not work. I had the opportunity to kind of explore around and do whatever I wanted. So I did things like taking a blacksmithing class, I did ceramics, um, I did Krav Maga four times a week, um, and I wrote so many books. That year I wrote seven full-length novels. Yep. I just, uh, once I started I couldn't stop. I sort of settled into the rhythm after the first couple of getting one book out every two or three months. Um, sometimes it took a month, sometimes it took more. It was great. Some of those books are terrible, some of them were actually really good, and it was the actually really good ones that I decided I wanted to self-publish. Um, so I took those novels. The first one is called The E-String. It is a historical murder mystery set in 1934 in the Lake District of England. Uh, the narrator is a 12-year-old girl, but this is not child's fiction. This is definitely adult fiction, um, written sort of just from that perspective in order to get a different perspective on things. Um, it was, I think, probably still is one of the better pieces I have written. I enjoyed it so much and I really 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 wanted it to be the book that made me famous and unfortunately I hadn't yet realized that the world of writing no longer works that way. I sent it off to agents, I sent it off to indie publishers, I sent it basically to anyone who would read it and it was kind of meh meh, your query letters suck, so move on. And I did. Um, I decided to self-publish it, and I designed the cover, um, I edited it, I sent it to people who were not necessarily professional editors, who, but who have a very good command of language to edit the book. Um, 
I did more rounds of editing, and I prepared to self-publish it through Amazon CreateSpace back when it was CreateSpace and not KDP. Um, actually, I think I've got a copy of the book if you just give me one second. Okay, so um, this is actually the book. Oh, we'll see if that focuses properly. So this is the cover of the book. This is a review copy, as you can see. The spine in the back hadn't yet been figured out. So this is a one of the first review copies of my book. I have a better copy elsewhere, but it's it's being a thing. Um, so this was, you know, 300 some odd pages. Um, it was one of the first books I published. Actually, it was the first book I published. And do you know what? I had the best time. Um, I didn't know anything about marketing. I knew nothing about what it meant to be a self-published author. I just know that I had to get this book out and it was pretty good. I am actually extremely proud of this book. Um, it is going to be republished again, probably under a different title. Um, this one will be, the cover will be designed by my editor. Uh, and I think I, I think it's going to be great. Um, I'm actually going to put this out with the sequel, which I published the same year. Um, actually, I published a year later. So the sequel is called The Lost Symphony. I designed this cover too. This is a better review copy. Um, this one, you know, was great fun to write. This one's also about 300 pages. I did the same thing with the editing. I still didn't know beans about marketing, but you know what? I had the best time. Um, these books, uh, yeah, the covers were done by me, so obviously they're not going to get a whole lot of attention. They're not great covers. I didn't know anything about cover design. I just, just was doing what I liked, what was Art Deco, and it was fun and it was fantastic and you know having that lack of burden about marketing I think made the process better almost uh, because I was I was just learning I didn't know anything about this system I didn't know what it meant to be a self-published author I just know that you know I could finally hold my books in my hand and say I did this um, and it was that was at the point all I needed and then, once I decided that I was actually going to be a writer, um, that I was, you know, I was pursuing linguistics, I was going to do everything, I decided that I was going to publish one of the first books that I wrote that year. I had left it for a couple of years, I had not done any editing, or I mean I had edit edited it, I have the hardest time with that word. Um, I hacked it, I made sure that it was good. I had beta readers. I had a huge audience when I published this for free online way back when. I took it down from there. I did what everyone told me would be make it better. I did, uh, I designed this cover, which I think honestly is a far better cover than the other two. Still not wonderful, still perhaps not professional quality, but I liked it a lot. Um, and I published this one. This one, The Crow and the King, is still available for ebook copy on Amazon. Um, it is one of the books I am the most proud of. It's not perfect. It has, you know, cliches that it follows. It does, uh, there are, there are definitely, I mean, I would say that writing quality, it's good. It's actually quite good. Um, I would say in terms of storyline, eh, I could use some work. It's your typical sort of YA, um, historical adventure romance genre thing. Anyways, I didn't do any marketing on this one either. I just sent it off into the world. And then after I got my degree in linguistics um, it, as an undergraduate and I moved on to, into my master's about halfway through the year in my master's, I decided that I was going to do this professionally. This was going to be my career. Um, so I started the sometimes frightening journey of um, marketing. 
I entered the world of social media, I joined a bunch of writing communities, I learned what it took to be a self-published author, and that's where Speaker of Words came in. Um, you know? So, uh, Speaker of Words is not my debut novel. It is uh, the first novel I am doing professionally, the first one I am actively marketing, the first one that I am going to be showing off as my um, step into this world. But I am never ever going to forget where I came from. These these are my legacy just as much as Speaker of Words is. And you know what? I may not have been doing this professionally. I may not have known a bunch of things about the self-publishing world, but I am still proud of these books. These are still good books. And one day, hopefully soon, I am going to take these books, I'm going to rewrite them, well, I'm going to edit them, re-edit them, I'm going to get them pr properly covered, and I'm going to put them back out in the world. I think self-publishing for me is more a journey of exploration. I will never claim to know everything. Everything changes constantly. But I can hold my books in my hand and say, these are good. I did good work. It's not perfect. There's a whole lot more that I could be doing, but I'm proud of my work. And I think that's kind of pretty important. So that's my self-publishing journey. Um, if you have any questions about any of that, do let me know. I am happy to talk about any of this. You know, you can still find The Crow and the King um, ebook style. I'm going to be putting the E string and the Lost Symphony up again probably next year, uh, end of year next year, uh, with a sequel, with the third book in the series, so that you can see what those are like. Um, do you know what? I'm, I'm having a grand old time. I am learning so much and I never would have gotten where I am today if I hadn't taken that year and written my little heart out and decided that, you know what? I can do this. And I will tell you one thing that I know absolutely for sure. You can do it too. So that's all I've got for you today. Please do go have a comment on my Speaker of Words book trailer. I will leave all of the links in the description box below. Um, you know, you might win a copy of my book. Otherwise, any questions, please send them my way. I am more than happy to chat. You can find me on all of the social media, all of the links in the description box. Have a fantastic day and keep writing. I will see you next time. Bye.